He has been able to break through an industry with few possibilities. He has risen through hard work and consistency. Today, he can boast as being one of the most successful comedians we have here in the country. Yes, but before we unravel our guests, let's take this quick breather. When we come back, we have more for you. This is Elsie Lamar and you are watching Talk Attainment on Ghana Web TV. Welcome back from that break. You are watching Talk Attainment and as usual, this show is proudly brought to you by Cheesy Pizza. Cheesy Pizza has all you want from juices, smoothies, jello, fried rice, spaghetti and meatballs. We have great deals for you all week round. Cheesy Pizza gives you the McCheesy combo every Monday and Thursday. With only 49 seeders, you get one small pizza, fries, chicken, and one Coca-Cola at all branches. Tuesdays are Super Tuesdays at all Cheesy Pizza branches. Buy your Super Family Pizza at half price every Tuesday for 40 seeders at all Cheesy Pizza branches. Be a part of the midweek bonanza every Wednesday. Buy one and get one free at all Cheesy Pizza branches. Also remember to start your weekend with special jollof and fried rice from Cheesy Pizza branches. Call 0264-133-397. 0264-133-397 to place your order. Cheesy Pizza, your pizza, your way. And I guess today is going to i don't know he's going to be keeping us all smiles the whole time hopefully comedian warris is here with us you're welcome thank you very much how are you doing i'm good yeah, i like you oh thank you you are I looking like good <laughs> that's, that's okay warris are you single no i'm not okay <laughs> You want me to say I'm single? I'm not single. <laughs> but I'm okay. You know, I was just about telling you to just make me and my crew laugh for some few seconds. But Whoa, we have like two types of ways of doing that. We have mm. the manual, we have the automatic. Which one? Which one? Okay, I don't like manual stuff. I like automatic stuff. Oh, you just laughed. But if it's manual, we can tickle you. <laughs> Whereas, you know funny enough you don't look it like you're a comedian but you don't look you you're calm you have a calm personality how is that how are you don't you get people telling you that oh what's a comedian those things don't you get it's it it's what you see outside for what is on my mind is yes. because <laughs> So, but normally people see me, they are like, okay, this comedian, he looks like Justin Bieber and he's nice. And, but I, I think my foremost um, dream of what I wanted to do in life is always what precedes me. So when I meet people, they are like, you don't look like a comedian, you look like a pilot, you, you know, you look like a doctor and all that. I still have a dream of doing that. I, I used to. But growing up, when I, I thought I wanted to be a pilot, <coughs> I, I, I grew up and then I saw the conditions in the family and I started reducing my career bit by bit when I was growing. So first I said pilot and then when I was growing small, I saw that our family, we don't have enough money to even cater for it. So I reduced it until I got to a classes teacher. <laughs> so I teach in classes small, small. I got to a point I... Charlie, I said I won't do anything. Then comedy said, come and do me. <laughs> so that, that is, it, 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 it's like that. Why? Answer your better. Feel free and love. Yo, me na mese me shaba way dear. Yo, it's just too much. Yeah. What's with you and Big Ass? I think Big Ass is the... You know why I'm asking that? Yeah, yeah, I like looking at them, but is the not only you like making use of them in your skits. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You you did well adding the end bit of in my skits. But when you say I like you making like use of them, <laughs> where? where what is your evidence in your skits? Where what is now we change the song? It's not in anything. It's 
IGP. IGP. <laughs> so, if you if you give me an allegation, I ask you what to do <laughs> every day. Then I'll go to I'll I'll, I'll be put on remand. Eh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But um, having um, someone with that kind of body stature is uh, the cheapest props you can get as a um, actor or director or comedian. Mm. You understand? So it's nice. It, it gives uh, the video a vibe. It makes guys want to watch, and then they, it, it gives you views. You know? So I know. Um, I don't know. But you don't know. Mm -mm. Oh, then you are not a guy, so you don't know. So normally, that is the main reason why we use them. And some of them are actually actresses. They actually happen to have their, that kind of body. But it doesn't mean, say, I have slim girls in my video. Are you trying to say I'm, I'm being racist? No, in all your videos, oh, like most of the videos really? I have seen about you and a girl. Even the one I was a pastor. Come on. Okay. It's, it's so like, I think I, I saw one. Mm. I don't know how you did you manage to do that there was a girl with a huge ass and when you tap the girl and the person turned where it was she? a man where is she i, I don't know anyways <laughs> moving away are you sure you don't have any personal interest in that no i don't mm, I, I don't think i do are I, you sure no I, personally no i don't any girl goes no uh, yeah any girl okay so moving away from the whole discussion about us to um yeah so we know you as comedian worries but we do not know a lot of things about you so can you give us a brief um personal profile about yourself well um when we say comedian worries it's, it's my stage name my name is abdul waris umar mm. i'm a muslim and i'm not married i'm single i'm a virgin i'm a very handsome gentleman that is a big profile of me and then um, I actually happen to be a stand-up comedian. We, I majored in that, but I do skates as hobby. And then for other businesses. And then I'm a director, a script writer. And I'm a farmer. Um, I did a Greek science. Um, I've been an athlete for some time. 2012, I was the first. A Greek science where? Not sorry to catch Yeah, I, I was doing a Greek science in a school where I was a senior to medical and for me. Yeah, I've been in school with Famiye before. What school? Odogono Senior. Oh, okay. Yeah, and then we were all in the school. Oh, so you were a medical senior? Yeah, I've been. Yeah, oh, okay. I was a senior. And Famiye, we have incredible Zeke, we have a lot of people. But just bringing out the school stuff for you to see that we have a lot of talent, you know. So basically, um, a little profile talks about what I do. Aside being a um, skate maker or content creator, and then I think that no skate maker and content creator is two two different things. People don't know, but um, I, I do all those things. And then if you don't know me or you know me to be someone who is always doing content creation, I do stand up comedy as well. Mm. Mm. That's quite a portfolio there. It's very big. Nice one. <laughs> In your um, myself, yeah, very big. <laughs> you um, made I, mention. I, I don't even know how to do, write myself. Oh come on! Yeah, I, do, I, I That's like the first essay we all wrote in school. It's not everybody that wrote it well. Oh, oh yeah, yeah you're we right. All wrote it and yeah. My name is. Um, I am from name to age, the name mm -hmm. of my mother, the name of my father, mm -hmm. then. I, my my favorite food mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah it follows like that oh god it's in cool. your um previous statements you made mention that you um a muslim yeah sure did that in any way affect your career choice like were your parents against the way your family against the choice of career that you wanted to venture in being comedy and entertainment no my, my mom wasn't it was okay when when there is money, how would you be against it? But you know Muslims are very religious and they are mm -hmm. very particular about certain things. Yeah. Maybe it might be Ramadan, month of fasting, and you're you not supposed to do to certain things. You have to be modest, mm -hmm. but your job requires you to be doing certain things that will put you out there. Mm -hmm. Did you encounter any of such challenges? Not really. I've not encountered all those stuff. But I think... Um, my parents were they are so welcoming you understand 
if there would be any problem, it would be maybe fans who are very, very religious who feel I shouldn't do certain things. But in any ways, I've had control over the craft to know what I need to do and what I don't have to do. Sometimes you, you get threats like it's Ramadan, you don't have to post videos. Mm. But it's, it's fine. If, I think they, they now understand. If it's Ramadan, it doesn't mean that everybody has to put on his craft on a hold, but there can be um, a way to minimize certain content, like the um, bringing in the R stuff and then maybe slapping people and all that. There can be a particular content that, that goes well. Mm. So uh, uh, it's been it's been awesome. Mm. I'm just waiting for the day when they will feel like okay, you shouldn't. But as and now, I'm here, I'm here. Don't maybe I'm a dream. So because I'm in you, my one man's cry, me I'm okay. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, sure. So you made mention earlier that you do script writing. Yeah. And directing. Yeah. How many movies have you, or let's say skits, have you directed so far, and how many scripts? All right, so have movies you? and um, skits aside, I have, a, I have a TV series that I have dropped, mm -hmm. which is almost like 24 episodes, but mm -hmm. I have 12 episodes, which is ready. I've, I've, um, Agenda Boys, I've been, it's been awesome. It's, it's done so well. I wrote the script, and then I directed, I shot it as an actor as well. A lot of skits, a lot of ads, I write content, I script for them. So I've had a lot of works in as much as I'm always doing this skit and that is what people know me of. But it's not everything that I put out there that you would know that it is me. So I think... It's Speaking of comedy skits, mm. have you ever thought of doing something with, um, what's the name? Aka Beneza? Who is Aka Beneza? Um, his name's, Likey. His name's Big Dr. Much. Likey. <laughs> I'm sorry, like, his name's Chow Too Much. So, Sometimes the name yeah, will come to me and you're like, it. who is we this? Get to, get to. Don't worry, don't worry. Uh, Rasnene, he's just yeah, he's my Rasnene. brother. We've, we've yeah. worked, we've worked, we've had so many. We've met, we worked on Tracy Boache's um, mm. TV series. We've shot skits on our own without having any. I met him in Kumasi as well. I was actually born in Kumasi, so I've mm. been there, I've met him. Rasnene is my guy. Mm. But his name's Chow. You go be there yeah. and they say, Ras you know, Nene, Dr. Likey. Oh, uh, who is 24? I ah, you don't know Rasnene. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, Charlie, his name's Chow. His name's Chow. Not to make anybody feel like you didn't know Akebeneza. Oh, don't worry, don't worry. It comes out like that. But, but you said you've worked with him mm. on a couple of productions. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. In the past. Yeah, in the past. Which are, which are out. Yeah, they are all out. Even the skits, some of them are on my pages. Mm. Yeah, and some of them are on the YouTube page, Amagana. Mm. And, uh, yeah, Amagana, yeah. What would you say about him? He's very good. Mm. Rasnini is very creative and he's gifted. He's, uh, I think he's a very smart guy. Sincerely, he's, he's one of the honest guys who always wants to play real, so it's cool. For the work, though, everybody has his own personality and then he, what he does below. So whatever the person shows to you, if it's not threatening, it feels good. I like to work with him again. Mm. Mm. if you tell yourself as the biggest comedian in Ghana. Yeah. Why? What makes you think so? Because I've I've done a lot of things that I don't see people do them. Recently, I I filled auditorium. We we actually had overflow. People went home, which is last week. I did a stand-up comedy show. I sold tickets. Tickets were sold out two weeks before event. I've never seen a comedy show sell out tickets two weeks to event. I've had back and forth project in Nigeria. I've shot TV series during COVID, and out of COVID, it got sold out on Kataka TV. So who else? Do you have someone in mind? <laughs> So, with this being said, would you say that um, you have outdone yourself, or you have no, done stuff? I've not stuff even gotten to my peak as a comedian, but I'm, I'm just trying to live as a new gen, the new energy, the new power in the system. It feels like you've had an um, iPhone, which is six, 
and then there is a new one which is 13 and they are both with you you know how in as much as we are new 13 is new it has power it has strength it bring you the new generation vibe that is just like me just doing my own thing so it's not as if i'm at my peak iphone is not at its peak it's just a 13. we should just get to 20 for you to see so would you say you have revived the comedy career no, gun, the comedy, comedy industry comedy was lively already i can't re how can i revive it alone we've played a role as kids as we we are by putting our cross skates and uh, a lot of things but we can't say we single-handedly revived ghana comedy do you understand ghana comedy it's it's been doing it its own it's, it's been doing well before we came in it because if it wasn't we wouldn't see future that there would be money in it for us to do but then we've all played a role it cannot be me ah then but I, I, I happen to be a guy who knows how to talk about certain things. Do you understand? Because I've been in the media space before. I've been a sound engineer. I've been a presenter before. And I know what I'm talking about. I can't be the one who revived Ghana comedy. Comedy, come on. I want for Jimmy, Lewi, Jimmy, Funny Face, Jimmy, DKB, Jimmy, Obi, Jimmy, Lexi, Jimmy. Now I say, I'm reviving me. Played my role though. So, yeah. Speaking of comedy, mm. I've seen you with Nasty Black mm. do a few comedy skits here and there. You guys have been doing a lot of work together. Mm. What's the relationship with him like? My side chick. <laughs> That's for you, eh? <laughs> What is the relationship? He's my cousin. Mm. <laughs> well, he's... It's, it's a vibe. I told you I did projects in Nigeria and I met a lot of comedians. We spoke. They, they, they wanted to see what is on the outside market from their end. And so they decided that they would definitely try and come to Ghana and have a project with us. So um, he came to Ghana to see how the market is. And he loves it. You understand? The market is good, he loves the media, he loves the fans, he loves the audience, everything. So, um, he's just a friend. We just happened to have a project and then he's gone. But how was it like working with him? It was, it was, it was like working with every other comedian. Just that he is a Nigerian and then he has that kind of vibe where we don't have our comedians have it here which is their language, and they knowing more about skills than we do. Do you understand? Mm. But Charlie, it was, it was a big vibe for me with Nasty Black. Okay. So with you and your exposure um, in Nigeria, would you say you are more recognized internationally as compared to other comedians here in Ghana? Well, what you, you don't know is that there are a lot of comedians who do a lot of virtual shows. I play virtual shows in New York, in Maryland, and people don't even know because I'm using my phone in my room. And there is a time when everything will just come out. But I, I can't know what other comedians are also doing virtually because it's a virtual world. You understand? But I, I love and I believe in my accomplishments. I want to really, really... Um, acknowledge the fact that I've been able to work so hard and I, I, I really love the audience out there how they really love and support my brand I acknowledge the fact that I'm being recognized over there and I appreciate the fact that others are also being recognized over there From the dawn of time, people have engaged in several businesses. With the onset of technology and innovation, life has relatively been made easier. By using debit or credit cards. Mobile banking. Thank you. And your favorite mobile money? Tech has indeed married business. 
On BizTech, we spend time with faces behind known and upcoming businesses in the country. Learn more about the new technologies and innovation. As well as find out about the trending issues in the world of business. Join us as we serve you with a variety of compelling interviews, projects and others right here on Ghana Web TV. Welcome back from that break. If you just joined in, you are watching Talk Entertainment on Ghana Web TV. And this show is brought to you by Cheesy Pizza. Cheesy Pizza has all you want from juices, smoothies, jollof, fried rice, spaghetti, and meatballs. We have great deals for you all week round. Cheesy Pizza gives you the match. <laughs> Cheesy Pizza gives you the McCheesy Combo every Monday and Thursday. With only 49 cities, you get one small pizza, fries, and chicken. One Coca-Cola drink at all branches. Tuesdays are Super Tuesdays at all Cheesy Pizza branches. Buy your Super Family Pizza at half price every Tuesday for 40 cities at all Cheesy Pizza branches. Be a part of the midweek bonanza every wednesday buy and get one free at all cheesy pizza branches also remember to start your weekend with special jollof and fried rice from cheesy pizza it is it is 12. call 0264-133-397 0264-133-397 to place your order yes. cheesy pizza your pizza your way <laughs> where is it's 12. I've counted my okay. Open my it. Mother one, open my it. I say you can't wait, so you just open it. Thank you very much. It's nice. I told you. You have more drink. I like to zip it out. Very nice. Who so, will I take this one out? Why are you crying? You want to eat some? You know what is sad? I can eat everything. Your production crew will not get some. Because they are waiting for me to say, oh, they are closed. <coughs> so, cheesy pizza is the best in the whole Ghana. That's why I was disturbing you that I want to come for an interview. Please, so can I take a bite? Can I also take a, a slice of pizza? Who are you? Please, let's continue the interview. Anyways, I've been bounced, so let's continue. <laughs> so you're eating alone. I'll know how to get you. Don't worry. The next question. <laughs> the next question. You throw it up. Because that commercial <laughs> break, I went alone. <laughs> yeah. Waris, what's your relationship with Aisha Modi? She's my wife. We are rolling. Yeah. Why? Who is Sama sorting here? <laughs> She's my wife. It's my wife, my mom, my side trick, my girlfriend, my everything. How did you meet her? Oh, she happened to love my works. You know, in comedy, you meet people. Like I met Ohino, Ohino Farah. Um, we met a lot of people through comedy. And some of them love to support. They love to help. Like I've met you right now, you are giving me cheesy pizza. I'm not giving it to you. I'm just watching you eat it. <laughs> you take it from me. Oh yes. If I want to take it, I'll take it. There's nothing you can do. <laughs> have you ever seen pizza langan before? <laughs> <laughs> you let's continue. You were saying something. <laughs> yes. So, Aisha is is like it's like a mom. It's like a godmother to me she's done so well for me she supported my brand she pushed me to places where i never dreamt of we need people like her to actually put across talents to push them sometimes you see a talent and you're like wait you understand so aisha has been playing that kind of role supporting me with every other thing that i need and i must say I appreciate her so much. I'm grateful. Yeah. You were a beneficiary of the land she was distributing? Yeah. She gave me a land, a half plot. I'm planning on doing a poultry farm. 
but I don't want full plot because Funny Face was having full plot when he started the poetry farm. He started <laughs> singing for animals instead of human beings. Snitch. Now, <laughs> now we have Funny Face. So me, I took half plot so that I won't, I won't be singing for animals. How can you do album for animals? Funny face. And you come and cry that human beings are not buying the album. Did you do it for us? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Speaking of okay, yeah, speak, speaking out to of funny face. Oh yeah. yeah, speaking of funny face, mm. what 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 do you have to tell him? He's going through a lot. He's going through trying times. What do you have to, to tell be, him? To be to be to be very honest with you, I I look at funny face today I was even watching funny faces video. When he got an endorsement deal with a petroleum company. And I was so smiling, I was looking at him. If no one knows about comedians, we are always on the edge. Someone who is so devoted to do comedy is the only person who knows what he thinks of, how crazy he thinks about life, and what he sees to be able to turn them into comedy. For me, when I see Funny Face, what I wish to tell him is that all is well. Because from where he is, when you look at Funny Face being the king of the streets, Making and the people children's laugh, precedence. children running up and down, endorsement deals chasing him. Who knew that within a twinkle of an eye, it's life, it could happen to anybody. You understand? So I feel for Funny Face, I'm rooting for him to get better. We are all family, and we are praying that when he comes back, there are so many ways we can work out things to get on board, to bounce back, to get all the endorsement deals back. It's human nature. You understand? What hurts most in life that people don't know? Obibe to me the second child. Obibe to me, obibe to me, a wea wadie. Obibe to me a ye obibi a. Now so obibi obibi na e tu chima o wadrimwa. It's the most saddest thing because you yourself, you have no control over yourself. That is the engine. You understand? So I'm just praying that it wouldn't happen to anybody. And for him, we pray that he gets better. Mm. Do you think with all that has happened, it has somehow brought some fear in yeah. celebrities? As, the law, the law is not supposed to put fear in anybody. It's not fear. Because Captain Planet came out to say that um, he, with how things are going, he's sure by December, dear, not celebrities, baby. Yeah, oh, yeah. oh, Christmas, where? No, but I'm yeah, not yeah. sure every celebrity is. Let me put it this way I'm not sure every public figure. Is that kind of giddy giddy? Do you get what I'm saying? I'm not sure every public figure is chasing clout to make it in life. It can never be that way. But rather, this is this is beautiful. In as much as it's a thing that we never expected to happen, but this is beautiful in a way that if we are arresting even military men for being or doing something that is not right you policemen should buckle up because when you do the wrong thing you'll be arrested it tells you that if you are arresting public figures to set example then it means that if you're a po if you're a normal person or you are just a civilian and you mess up you can go to it's a good thing for everybody to know that the law is actually alive but it doesn't mean say Ebi ana obiti baby na na anka all dream say ebeti shatawali ebeti we ebeti we. Lord, it dey it be true. Be a me a miti ebeti me a chime. Di ke bi say we do ebi niti e kasi e too much. Ebeti no because or the basic amount for him ni ni ama. How to say? I D P buy no Charlie shoot 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 inti. Any gun gun inti say I kasi me shoot me shot. I me show us umbiya. Because you took me short, but then they shoot you and hit you. But I said, Chimmy, you understand? So it, it, it's in a way a good thing. And then we hope that everything would be cool. There will be no cheats in the industry. Because there will be no cheats, uh, hard work. Mm. Hard work. 
Yeah, where I mean, because it will be the second war, me and Sana meet me and my video will be a cover. Speaking of cheats and speaking of um, from what you have said, mm. you started active comedy in 2016. Yeah, please. And um, till date, have you encountered any down moments? So many. Of so okay, many. can you tell us a few? Of like, like, I've had the a lot most of broken hearts. Like, a lot of people have given me broken hearts. Like, they see me to be. You see, I'm so innocent and God fearing. So, the ladies, when they come, then the listing, they are like, we want to break up. We don't want to, you know. So, that has been a thing. Like, MFA. Ah, MFA broke my heart. When I dream, I see pink cat, pink cat, pink cat. <laughs> I've never seen that before. <laughs> but I've had down moments. That is why, most especially, I actually had to do a show called Seriously on Serious. I had a down moment in my life where I couldn't even create a joke for almost like three months, four months. I couldn't even write a skit. My, when I say I couldn't write, and you say me what? My mind is not going there. Because I'm creating a let me jail doom. As a car, we are was parking and they doom because of the broken heart. No, because of the issues I was going okay. in, going yeah. through in life. But you see, the seriously on serious comedy show came on for me to tell people that I found ways of using my own issues, my own challenges, my own issues. I found ways of using them as comedy. And why am I saying this? Comedy is not just for you to laugh. Comedy, when you learn it on your own, you can use it as a weapon to fight anxiety and depression. You understand? Yeah. So with that, I was able to sit down and tease myself. Me, 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 I'll think about everything that happened within the day. And I'll ask myself, so what if this happened? What if when I came to the studio, I did this rather? What if when and you'll be laughing you know, to yourself yeah, in the room. I'll be creating it. So before you realize, I've gotten a whole joke about me going somewhere and getting pressed and messing mm. up and all that. And then all of a sudden, my ex popped up and he was like, I know him, he'll do this. <laughs> so it's, it's, I've had down moments, I'm human. What about career based? Like, have you had any instance where you, you feel you have been either sidelined, bullied, or, you uh, know, coming from your own colleagues? Uh, well, um, some of the things I say might not be too serious to people. But there will be days when people would just watch videos and then they feel like this guy was really saying something serious. Look, this world, nothing is fair. Nothing is ever fair in this life. You can't say you don't eat lion's meat, so when a lion is coming, he shouldn't eat you. He'll eat you. It's not fair everywhere, and you have to be prepared. Man has been hearing of death, death, death. People are dying. Are you saying no man is prepared that one day he will die? We know. But when someone dies, we still cry and shout and fall down and all of that. It's sad, but it happens. It would. There's no way it's going to stop. So when I'm in an angle, like I'm in a new space where I want to do something, when I check my strength and I'm so strong, I, I don't see anything. When you bully me, I'll bully you back. When you don't bully me, I show you back love. Do you understand? So as a man or someone who has passed 20 with a lot of advices in your life, I don't see you standing somewhere to say me buy a cry will be pamomi will be crying on permanent that one nobody will love you it's not everyone you understand so i think those are things that gets to comedians or artists for them to feel like okay they are not being loved no do you expect somebody to love you before you can breathe <laughs> bro like if you go choke you understand so mm -hmm. being bullied in the space being sidelined there were a lot of things that were done, but we used it as fuel to push ourselves to get to where we want to be. There was a time when I wake up early in the morning and I'm like, why is if I'm not part of the first five comedians in Ghana by 2022, I won't be happy. 
And right now, you check Google comedians in Ghana on Google Wikipedia. I'm the third. I'm the third. So, it, like, it's it's. I think it's hard work. It's hard work. And what hurts me most, I don't know how to translate my emotions for people to feel what I have felt in my life. But I want people to know that hardship is not a thing that should make someone take his life or su be, be suicidal. <laughs> and those things didn't even make us slow down. When I started comedy, I was one of the only artists that, I mean, a lot of comedians can testify. Mijina traffic lights, I say. Every end of the month, I share 5,000 solid flyers, comedy flyers. What is your flyer? Oh, Ben will be cano or co. Oh, Ben will be cano or ruin a glass. Oh, Ben will be no or train on the cell you're crumb for. Oh, Ben will be cano. I must not say this, but who Ben will be cano. Oh, hey, I don't have a slicica like those. So, you see, man has been from a place where we felt like it wasn't possible to a place where we feel like challenge me, I be. So, Oshana Osho, Bina, I was struggling with his saying, You always feel like you have to translate your emotion to let the person know that any hardship ni be kunipa. Hardship be kuniga and gachale. Poor Muni and Kome. Were you at any point suicidal? Suicidal? Me. Like I'll slap myself. <laughs> no. I've not. Look. There was a time in my life where. There were issues. I wake up from October 28th, three years ago. I wake up from October 28th, 29th, 30th, up to November 1st, 2nd. Every single day from 20th of, 28th of October, I spent money until January to February every day I wake up and they're like your brother has done this you're, you're this you're this you have to pay this you have to pay this when I finished someone called me it was my brother my brother was actually mentally ill when I finished all these stuff someone called me and my cousin and he was like don't you think Warris is using his little brother for money ritual oh really yeah and then I when she called me she was crying and then I told her look Samira me, I've been through the valley of the shadow of death. I've seen everything. And I don't feel any emotions towards anything. Once I didn't die, once my brother didn't die, once I've seen my mom on a level which they can't die, which she not die. No news, gossip about me or any other thing where you could really touch me, where you could make, I would take something, say, and they can't do something to my body. And one thing that has been one thing about me is that I live alone. I live solely alone. Me me in Kotsna say, Bibia to me, I'm a Kotsna that was for me, I'm born come on to forget. Madam, I will face it. I should be with my depression. We will face, we will, I'll give him chair, we will you eat. We will, you bet the light will be over our You understand? So, it's life. You have to be that kind of tough person. I'm not saying I'm too perfect. But when I know a lot of people who look up to me and they somehow say that, oh, where is Charlie? Are they trust this guy on these ways? And sometimes I want to let the public know that if you are going through a thing that looks like Charlie, everybody, they can't die for your life, self. It shouldn't make you commit suicide. Mm. You should be strong. You, you, should, you should hope. Ah, motivational speaker worries. I swear to God. <laughs> Finally, um, they, 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 they say that thing to shy off much. When, when I started my career, though, now a month where I feel like their goals are in line with my goals. So if I have to do something with the Fiasu Asnega, I'll do it with her. If I have to do it with Tracy Bachi, I'll do it with her. It got to a point, everybody was like, hey, what do you want to show? What do you want to show? But let me tell you something. That point when the word was coming out, I sat down and I asked myself, Ah, I don't know more because I want to share. My dream one, I mean, say those things come to you at the point when you're about to break into the mm -hmm. system, where that word is supposed to calm you down. 
And then when you are able to overcome it, that word goes off and you go. So I didn't give up. I, start, I was doing even overly. And then it got to a point. That thing, I'm not going to say, 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 I'm not going to yeah, at least you understand. Mm. But if you look at some of your camera guys, some of them know they use to offset. Please leave my camera guys that out. That's why I'm saying it's not an achievement. It's iPhone is achievement right now. The madam will be on the charger credit bar. iPhone charger. It's like, hey, I won't tell you. Let's go home. <laughs> On this note, Suarez, please put out your final words out there. Well, these are my final words, but it doesn't mean I'm dying. <laughs> my hey. final words is that you see this pizza here? I don't even know my final words. It's a cheesy pizza. Okay. my final words. John, why? <laughs> why is this just a whole mood? And before the show ends, Cheesy Pizza has asked me to give you a coupon. So here you are. Wow. To get how many pizzas? So you can visit the branches stated on the coupon, <coughs> any of the branches, and then you get yourself some pizza. <laughs> Why are you laughing that much? They gave me five pieces. Well, they are dead. Well, let's leave Waris to drill with his pizza and um, the whole... F what is happening here? The pizza is nice. Waris, you won't come to this show again. You are banned. They let me do what I want to do. <laughs> you <laughs> Yes, I guess you have had a good time on the show. You, yeah, Kimia, you, you said I'm gentle. No, I'm doing mad man. Say, I say no. on the show. Should I leave the show for you, Aris? And a wrap up for me. Hello. Hello, everybody. Look. This is the talk entertainment. Yeah, can you say? <laughs> talk entertainment. Talk. Talk, talk entertainment. Look. Thanks for watching me on talk attainment right here on ghana web tv the name remains comedian wires and i'm here with my guest what is your name you El think i'll say it Elsie right? Lamar. Uh, sure. do you have a boyfriend why do you keep asking i want to know if you have one when are you breaking up so that we just <laughs> marry <laughs> sign out so sign out you two are watching me you <laughs> sign out why ah. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> no.